Hello everyone, this is Leaf on the Wind here, now bringing you Cities XL Platinum here, basically Cities XL 2012 with some tweaks to it. Um, the goal of this Let's Play is going to be to build an empire, basically. I'll create specialized cities and basically create an ultra city within my own world here. Now, originally you could play all this online, and I'm pretty sure you actually can with other people. All these white dots are different city locations. So you can jump into a world, get assigned a city, and do whatever you want with it at that point. Uh, but I don't know, I don't think the official servers are still online. I think they're all still offline, so I don't know. But, uh, <coughs> sorry. Um, basically, we're going to build an empire within this. And the reason I'm playing this now instead of doing Anno 1404 or any of the other games I said I was going to play is basically because I want to. Um, yeah, basically I want to build a city is what it comes down to. <laughs> Um, Banish will be coming out pretty soon. I want to get this one at least started. So, there are a few main resources uh, that you need to worry about. Uh, oh, I have no trade options because I can't show you guys that. Okay. Uh, because we have no cities, so that's a problem. Um, be aware that I am playing on expert mode, um, not the standard mode. And kind of look at this. I mean, this looks like we're. Honestly, um, when I first saw this, I was almost thinking it might be a copy of World of Warcraft, but it is not. Um, but it kind of threw me off there for a little bit, so. <laughs> um, all the white dots are potential city locations. But the way we will be doing this is uh, we'll be looking for food industry. Um, we want it to be... Oh, how do we want to do this? Yeah, we'll just do it like this, that's fine. Um, that pretty much handles that. You got water and you got... These, these are the main resources you need to worry about, the ones that come in. Um, so you're looking at three stars fertile area, two stars water, which would be pretty nice to have. Um, basically, you don't want to mix fertile areas with uh, oil, and you don't want to mix holidays with oil. Oil basically needs to be on its own because it's a very dirty industry that hurts the other ones. Um, if you look at kind of all our options here, um, that's ni another one, but it's only one water, so another one. Kind of just jumping around our options here. Same sort of thing. So the best one in this case is this one here, the green cut, which I've played before. Pretty simple. Uh, difficulty is only 30%. It's not a difficult map at all. Um, but it has no holiday, it has no oil. So basically our first goal is to build a food base. Um, some kind of farming base. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, because basically we need food, we need water, we need oil for fuel, and then then basically that covers the basis. Because the oil doubles with the electricity um, as a possibility. So we kind of mix those together because they're all dirty industries. So And we're going to call this Farm Bill. Because uh, that's, that's what I call things. Uh, we'll be doing American Roads because I am American. Um, but you also have the option of English, French, German, and default roads, which I'm assuming are American for me, but I've never really messed with it. So we're just going to pop right in. It's going to load it up. <clears throat> Brand new. There's no population. There's no cash, which is fine. Because, you know, that's the way that goes. Uh, close that. All right. 400 grand is what we have first. And uh, that is going to go away very, very quickly. We zoom all the way out here. This will, oh, pause this really quick. This is the map we're looking at. This is a huge freaking map. Look at this thing. Just look at this thing. God. Okay. We should take a look at the... Okay, first we'll do groundwater. Green area is groundwater. As you can kind of tell. Um, so we got a decent amount of groundwater. Fertile area. This huge fertile area right in here. Um, which is pretty awesome. Now, one important note, right here is kind of an open area. It's kind of flat, it's kind of open, and there's n that's where the groundwater is. So, you can build there, but it's going to sacrifice your groundwater. Now, you want to, for these kinds of cities, you want to absolutely maximize fertile areas um, and groundwater and all that good stuff when you're making these kinds of maps. So this is what's known as an export-oriented city. I'm specializing in a single industry and just building on that industry. Now, if you notice, though, uh, there's a lot of sloping going on here. So, uh, 
Uh, I can't remember where anything is anymore. It's been so long. Um, bingo, terraforming. You look at that. Look at look at how this is set up. You can see the slopes in there. So that's that's kind of a problem. You want flat area for that. Um, we can work on that later. That's not important right now. Oh, that's oh, okay. Yeah, let's put decorations in there. Yay. Um, okay, so if we go back to resources, groundwater, the lot in this corner here with uh, fertile areas all the way up to here. So basically, if you want to build a city, you can put one down here, a small little se section down here, and that's actually where I'm going to start because you only have this small elevated chunk, which we will level out. And then we'll just pop water down, water towers down as we need them. We're actually not going to do that initially. And actually, we're going to start connecting our road right here. And there's a reason for this. Um, so if we go... Oops, Intercity roads. Uh, purple's the areas where you can inter put in inner city roads. So um, the other option also is uh, one I do not prescribe to necessarily. Um, you can build your city, your town, up on the cliffs here. Um, I don't like that idea. I want to keep it down in the ground. I want to keep it nearby my fertile areas. In fact, you want to keep some housing nearby your fertile um, areas there. Now the problem is I can't just leave this on and build. So if I want to build that, oh, never mind, I turned that on. <laughs> oh god, I'm an idiot. Okay. I turned this on so you are allowed to do this now. Where it'll show the fertile areas as we are building. I forgot I turned that on. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we don't want an inner city highway, we want an inner city road first. Um, so we got those limited areas. Now, if we go into here, you got all these different roads available, and because it's going to be an inner city one, you basically want the biggest one you can get. Um, actually, how do I want to do this? No, I don't want to do that because I want to. I almost want to put a small avenue. I don't know if I want to mess with that. Could put a roundabout in to keep this. No, okay. All right, now I'm just I'm just doing too I'm thinking too much into it. Okay, we're gonna have this road all the way. Oh, love of all that is holy. Oh yeah, it won't let me build. Oh god, that's right. It's roads that won't let me build. Okay, this road's going right in here. And how much did that cost us? Nothing until I hit the play button. Oh look. <laughs> All right, so that's leading straight into the middle of the fertile area, and we're doing that. The reason we're doing this, um, oh, it is paused. The reason we're doing this, the heck? Okay, that's weird. Um, the reason we're doing this is because this is going to be freight shipment, and it's also going to be the primary connection for our uh, our people to get in there. So this is a freight shipment for things that are going to go on in here in the fertile area, and we'll expand this a little bit. But we're also going to create multiple freight options into here. We got to. It's it's a must-have. The more intersections you have, um, I don't know if this will quite show. Oh, that's not it. Where was it? Ground relief. Uh, there's that. I don't want that. Um, I thought there was. Where is it? I know it exists. I know it exists. That's what I'm looking for. Freight right there. Um, it's all green, okay? High level of freight. The more um, connections you make, the more intersections you make, the less freight options you get. And freight's important. And this is, I think, really stupid, honestly. It just doesn't make sense in a lot of these cases. So, it's something I choose to, I, I do do, but it's not something I like necessarily. So, uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. Okay. And then you got also passenger, which is also green here. So, the very first thing we're going to do, actually... Yep, I don't want the legends. Okay. Keep you up. very first thing we're actually going to do is build basic housing. Now, for this, what we're going to do... So we got the fertile area right there. Housing is going to come right... The, inter, the intersection for the housing development is coming right off here, and that's also going to be a fairly large road because there's going to be a single connection there. And that's... Kind of annoying, but that's the way it goes. In fact, we're doing it right here. So we take the main road and we 
just drop it down, mm, let's say right there. Eh, okay, yeah, right there, okay. So there's a single intersection there. Now, I don't think that's gonna affect the freight all that much. No, it, yeah, it won't unless we uh, tell it. I, I don't think that, that's not gonna show anything just yet, okay. All right, so we have a single, single intersection of a dual three-lane road, which is uh, pretty fantastic. Um, all right, so we have that in place. We're, should I do the basic housing here, or should I do it? No, we're gonna we're doing the farming immediately. I know how I'm gonna do this. I, I was debating whether to lay down my little town right here first, or to do the farms first. I'll be doing the farms first. Now, all these farms, are just visually different. There's nothing else that separates them. So there's there's really nothing you need to worry about in that terms. Now it straight up tells you you can't build there. Um, so you know, build there and you got this kind of junk going on where you can't build these kinds of roads. That's fine because I'm actually gonna delete this uh, this intersection when I get a chance. Yeah, that's a lot of waste there. Okay, so we're going to make the smallest one we possibly can. How are we doing here? Nope, that's still too small. Okay, we'll keep going up there. Join me. Yeah, this really, this really, uh, if you look at this, this really doesn't matter. Okay, you do not want a 100% size field. 95, uh, closer. 99, bingo. That's what you want. Okay, so that just built a farm. The very first thing we're doing here is getting rid of this. Why are we doing that? because we don't have another intersection then. You want as few intersections onto your main road as possible. Now, because we now have a farm here, and the farm's going to need workers. Oh, you also have upgrade options here, where you move it in small road, you can make it one ways, um, which is kind of pointless, um, but whatever. Um, so, okay, so the farm's built, farm's operating. Uh, farm's not connected to City Hall. Ooh, I forgot about City Hall. I have to have a City Hall. Come here, City Hall. Uh, for the moment, you're going right there. There. There's City Hall. Got a negative 2,000 right now, but that's not a huge deal. So, first thing we're doing, low density, unskilled workers. And we're doing a free zone, because then we can do this. It doesn't have to be pretty when you get right down. Oh, actually, I just realized I'm doing that in reverse. Aw, oh, you're not going to give me a proper, proper angle. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't have to be pretty, and the reason it doesn't have to be pretty is because I'm just using this for the farms. If I put two houses in here, I would be pretty surprised. So we'll get uh, something like that, maybe? Eh, not quite like that, because we'll be doing something like this. Getting stuff to fit can be quite annoying. Okay. I like the idea of basing it immediately down there, so we are going to do that. Okay, let's do right here. Five houses. Okay, we'll live with that. What? Wait a minute. Oh, the angle? You're... God. Okay. Come on. I, okay, really? But you said it's good. You said it's good. Okay, screw you. We'll just do that then. There. <laughs> okay, four houses in place. <laughs> You're gonna be like that, you stupid thing. Oh God, okay. So there's there's unskilled. Um, we're gonna want to link this directly into here um, eventually, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Oh god, that's that's pretty bad. 
going to just fight with me. Um, all right. Oh, hello, autosave. Thank you. To remember to disable that when I get a chance. All right. What are we looking at in size wise? There's 91. Okay, so we move you. You notice I try to do the perimeters here first. Oh, 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 99. You want 98 or 99 because that's their maximum? The where they're running the best at. Before I forget, I, I'm just going to link these guys. The heck was that? There, they're linked. That's that's a really crummy connection, but whatever. All right, and then we'll shove in some more farms. We want this. We want these farms in place right away, kind of thing. Let's uh, put you right there. Okay, so you have an angle problem there. Beautiful. Another farm. See if we can get a 99. 99, I like 99 the best. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, what? Four farms so far? Well, that's pretty excellent, actually. Alright, so we got a few houses connected in. That's good. Uh, we will be needing some commercial stuff. Basic farming has started, so we got the four down. That's good. <coughs> Let's. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I double clicked. Okay. So, if we start... That's half the fun of this game, is just trying to place freaking roads. I don't know if fun's the right word for that, actually, now that I think about it. Again, we're deleting that one right away to minimize the amount of uh, connections. In fact, in a perfect world, we would just connect here because that way we don't end up in this in a weird freight 
set up. I want at least five farms in place, though, before I, uh... Okay. Let's go a little bit higher. Beautiful. That's how it should be in those kinds of setups. And do... Farms are coming along. Let's get these guys in place. That's only ninety three. That doesn't help. Closer. Beautiful. All right, um, get houses right there, houses right there. A few more houses. And, uh, two. You are annoying. Alright, so we got a few houses in there. We will be... Let's put some light retail over here. Uh, basic retail. Um, we can just do a single square. Alright, so there's some retail connected here with some low-grade, um, low-density guys. So if we play this right now, these guys should start moving in immediately. Oh god, factories. There's no factories. Oh no. I don't care. Um, if you click on each one of these, it'll tell you what's going on. Uh, fuel costs too much. Water is expensive. Electricity is expensive. Nah, I don't care. Really wish I could turn these off. Okay, so food's being set up. We're okay there. Got some people moving in. Okay, uh, go away, view options. What do I want to mess with? What do I want to mess with? Building needs unskilled workers. That is fine. Well, I'm definitely not upgrading you anytime soon. Are not enough homes available. Okay, we can deal with that. All right, so this is, a, here we go. This is good. This is a breakdown of all the tokens we need. Dang, we're already pulling a lot of tokens in. Okay. We're already producing a single one, though. Uh, a single uh, food industry token, which is good. Um, so if we open up... Give me some trade. Oh, I don't have the trade option yet. Okay. Um, don't need to care about this because nobody's being bust in. Basically, we're buying all this right now from the... Uh, yeah, we're not going to get the option to trade it. I want the option to trade it. Okay. Let's set these. Um, 
god, drop that down to 20, drop you guys down to 10 then, and shut your pie holes. We're not going to have a huge amount of other industry, but keep the taxes low so they keep growing. Oh, for God's sake, savings. Alright, um, so this is just a breakdown of everything else here. Um, oh, I did set that. Yeah, that's corporate tax. Oh, keep doing that. Uh, general breakdown. Transportation is my most expensive uh, expense because I put those really expensive roads down, which is just fine. Uh, we can take care of that. Uh, but the real problem is, like, this fuel and all this. That's fine. We can leave all that alone because right now we're just buying all that. Um... Enough freight, total capacity is all taken care of. Everything there is all taken care of. Okay. You're giving me no options to trade. Okay. Fine. Go away, City Hall. Oh, that's right. You need you need skilled and unskilled work. Oh god, we don't have any water. No workers, no workers, no workers. Okay, we're gonna get workers in place then. Okay. First thing we need to do... Do a little bit... No, oh, do we even need... Yeah, we do need to. Try not to destroy what I've already built. Oh, and there went that road. That was expensive, but we can deal with that. Because we'll be laying down some cheap old roads here. Oh, that was that was really annoying. I hate when roads go on farms. There we go. Alright, we take the housing again. Rezone that all over. So if we bring you up to about there, and bring you, ooh, I want to say there, and then take the square one, do that. Uh, why didn't that go in? That should have gone in. There we go. Now again, we'll need a little bit more retail over here. And, uh, how do I want to break that down? Sure, why not? Probably actually don't need that much retail. That's a bit of retail. And you're probably screaming... Yeah, we need skilled workers. Okay. We're going to put a single section of skilled workers in here. Again, loan density. Um, but we're doing it right there. <coughs> There, you have a, you have skilled workers, and you will have unskilled ones because we will have enough. Um, having trouble hiring, but not enough unskilled workers. Okay, we can do that. Now I'm I'm lining the farms with these so these guys are close to their jobs. You don't have to do that actually. They can drive. And what the heck is going on here? So that guy is like smoking dope, whoever's planning that out.
<clears throat> oh, yeah, if you don't have any workers, that's probably a small problem. Having trouble hiring still? Yeah, you know what? We'll throw a few more down over here. We'll do this. Whoops, those are skilled workers. I didn't want, want that. Oh, did I just play skill workers up here? Yeah, I totally did do that. Okay. And delete all this. Okay, those ones are unskilled. Do 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 do. do. Let's try this again with, you know, 30% less failure. Um, you should be able to fit another one in there. What's your problem? Yeah, all right, whatever. City needs resources. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what are we doing? We got a single food industry. We need electricity. We need fuel. We need waste like crazy. Jeez. Okay, we better do something about waste. Waste is something we can do internally. Um, so that's something I don't need to worry about. We just need this technical service one. Moment that goes online, that opens up trade options. And everything kind of takes care of itself, or at least it better. City Hall, you really need to. Why are you stuck? Okay. Are we doing alright? Uh, fields are good, doing well, that's good. I don't want any heavy industry in here, pay attention to me. Okay. So everything's balancing out? Yep, yeah, we're looking good. Okay, so we got all these resources in play, we're doing good. How's everyone doing? Um, are enough homes available still? Very good. Satisfaction is good. Okay. Let's plop down a few more. Unskilled. Should help with this. Delete that. Okay. That will keep... Okay, yeah. That keeps that single intersection... All right, this city hall thing really needs to go away. Why? Why is that stuck there? Oh, I just I don't understand. I just don't understand that. Okay, that's stuck. Whatever. Um, how's the farms doing? Farms are doing well. We are okay. Unemployment's at a dangerous level for skilled. And okay, so we need more farms. That's what it comes down to. And, yeah, we want them all in this. Okay. Longer, the better. Oh, that's beautiful. And we can actually do a box structure on these now. Eh, come on. Perfect. Dang, that's beautiful. Aren't you? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, this might get a little bit annoying here. Yeah, because, uh, it's gonna be like this. Dang you, autosave.
Good enough. Okay. Now, one thing we unlocked here, I don't know if you noticed, we now have this. Food industry, a silo. Now, if you notice the radius on the silo, that's the area covers. Silo increases the profitability of your farms. Silo requires, um, requires access to freight, which is why this was so important. But you notice, um, I can't put it in here. Why can't I put it in there? Well, there's already a farm there. So if we delete said farm, put in said silo, yeah, right there. And then add, okay, as you notice, each each silo needs 10 farms. So that's why it uh, we didn't have the option before. And we re-add the farm with a 98% efficiency. Life is good. Now, because this guy also needs access to freight, you upgrade the roads to him so he gets better freight options. What? Oh, yeah, I gotta set up in ports. But look, nearby freight, 100%. So that's, that's absolutely beautiful. There's a no decrease in freight. <coughs> At all. Um, so, and we're up to three food industry already available. Um, slight increase on retail, that's fine. Um, negative 1,500 in cash, we're still doing okay there. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this is going to be... Yeah, I will say the one thing I really don't like about this is the terraforming tool. Drives me a little bit nuts. Okay. Oh, really? More unskilled workers. Yeah, that'll be good enough. Actually, you know... Can do that and put a road in there. Oh, you're not going to let me do that? But it is connected to the road. I just. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing. Problem solved. So, if we take a look at this, taxes are 71, so it's actually doing pretty good on there. Um, you notice the taxes on these guys are way up there now. But it's like here, nearby silo, eh, only 10%. Here, 55, 94. So, I mean, you get some, there's some real disjunct in there. Um, concerning what's what's next to a silo and what's not. All right, so how are we doing here? Aren't enough available homes. Okay, and unemployment has reached critical levels. Okay, so we will add a few more. Skilled. There we go. Okay. 
fields are doing well. Okay. How are we doing here? Three food industry. Cool. Nothing being done in trade, which is fine. Because I'm not placing heavy industry. Still losing quite a lot, but that's fine. Um, because we will very quickly start getting more and more farms in here. And that will, uh, that will destroy everything about that. Um, debating. Okay, first off, that needs to go away. Single access. More farms? More farms. What am I doing? Oh, here. Oh, why did I destroy that? It's just going to get rebuilt. I'm an idiot. And farther away. Oh, that's getting close. Oh, why'd you... Uh, oh, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Okay. No, we're not building there. We're just going to give you access for what you need. There. Problem solved. bit of an issue. Okay, so we'll do this differently. Beautiful. And now we have another silo available. Um, but we should probably hold off on that because be placing down this way. We desperately need to even that out. <clears throat> okay, okay. Alright, more unskilled. Skilled workers, rate of employment is a problem, but I'm not worried about that at all. How are you doing? You're fine. You're fine. I just realized the uh, City Hall thing went away. That's awesome. Okay, so everyone's happy here. That's decoration, random crap. They're fine. Okay. Um, should probably add another batch of retail up here. How's retail doing? Yeah, those guys are not happy with retail. Okay, so we'll add another batch. And then we're going to add retail. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Add another batch of uh, retail right behind it. Square, square, square. Yeah, it's up on a hill, but I don't care. Okay, this should start. We're definitely getting a higher cash flow, so we're doing okay there. Speed you up a little bit, see how we do. Yep, cash flow's coming up, okay. Aren't enough available homes, and problem with that. Okay, yeah, once again. Fields are doing well though, and... Okay. What? 
Um, okay, show me the traffic conditions. Oh, really? Well, you know how we solve that? We upgrade the road. Now I have five food industry, that's nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the traffic again. Uh, we got a few areas, basically any area you see in red. Uh, just upgrade that. Because, um, okay, so 20 cards a minute in there compared to the 10 cards a minute in there. That's why you upgrade. Also why you don't want these shorter stints there. That, but this one here, that one's a little interesting. Probably because it's going all the way back there. So, we'll just upgrade that. Um, we'll upgrade this one all the way through. That's fine. All the way back to the housing areas. And to there. So that should help with traffic, definitely. Any other traffic problems we're going to complain about? Eh, okay. Fine, I guess all of you can be upgraded. Okay. Alright, that's doing pretty good. Um, let's add some more unskilled housing here. Alright. It's fine. Everyone's doing okay? Yeah, we're all doing good. So, as you notice, the city's quite spread out, actually. Um, but that's that's really okay. Uh, with the city being as spread out as it is. Um, because it's a farming community, and this is... Well, okay, well, this is not how a farming community lays out. Um, <laughs> this, this would be ridiculous if this is how farms worked. Um, basically, it would come into... Okay, good, so we now are overloaded on that. Um... You basically have a farm, you have a block of houses, you would be surrounded by farms, all that kind of stuff. I don't want to waste the agricultural space I got. So that's why you're seeing it like this. So that's the way that goes. Alrighty, what what time are we running into right now? Uh, we're gonna, we're pushing almost an hour. Okay, so what are we doing? Five, we got minus one on water, I don't care. Okay. Negative eight on cash. Eight on cash. Passengers, nobody's going anywhere. And transportation capacity is fine, okay. Um, Metro, none of this is affecting us just yet. Um, we should. Uh, I don't want to take out a loan. Get the road link, that's fine. Farms are coming in, we got some decent stuff here. Oh, what the heck? Taxes are fine. Corporate taxes, you see, that's really coming in for the farming. So that's nice. Alright. I should probably do the exports here if I can remember how to do exports. Um, t -t 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 -t. Show me the population density. Wealth distribution. Which is useful. Um, unskilled versus skilled workers. And that's fine. Um, satisfaction. Citizens are relatively happy to live here. Public services. Don't care about health services right now. Everything's fine. Fire is the same way. Shops are here. And yeah, no leisure problems. Okay. Yeah, show me the job breakdown. Okay, so you guys are unemployed. And holy crap, that's a lot of... Why do I have so much unemployed skilled workers? Any vacant jobs? No vacant jobs. Okay. Everything should be turning a profit. There's no reason anything should be going broke. And freight line coming through is good, along with passengers. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. Resources, yeah, no oil. Uh, but we're in the groundwater. Eh, that's all right. All right, so at this point... All right, with the five extra tokens we got here, I'm going to call this city good for the moment. Um, we'll come back to it here in a little bit. So right now, we're just going to put in the trade. All right, so we got Farmville. 
and we're going to sell to Omnicorp. This is like the generic catch-all kind of thing. Uh, when you get right down to it. First off, we're going to import water. Oh, yeah, I got to... Okay. We're going to sell food. And notice my freight capacity is only 20. You can increase that. That changes back and forth, so we're fine. <clears throat> and I'm going to import water, so we have water. Now, if we look at what that did... We're ma now making 16 grand. Okay, um, that's what that does. <laughs> They, they gave us a lot of money for that. So that we're going to be fine as a farming community. Starting up that way. Um, we're going to be just actually super at this point. Um, oh God, okay. I'm just going to upgrade all these uh, roads here. So we don't end up in any congestion problems. Okay, so that's that. Um, surprised that road doesn't have congestion problems, but whatever. <clears throat> Alright, so what we're going to do next time is we're going to just continue uh, building farms and just expand out until we are basically, you know, crazy about this. In fact, I'm just lowering the t corporate taxes all the way down since I'm exporting so much. Everything's at minimum, everything's at minimum. Okay. And barely made a dent. I mean, we're getting 16 grand in for, or 17 grand in for imports. So, yeah, we're going to be fine. Um, alrighty. So, so we're going to hold it here for the moment. Ooh, what do we, yeah, we have no mega structures available. Yeah, that's too bad. We're going to hold it here right now. Um, I'll kind of run through this really quick. Um, basically, I have enough farms down to put down another silo. I'm going to hold off on the silo until I can get like like a better understanding where my farm is going to be. Like probably going to end up with a silo, silo right here-ish I want to say. Eh, maybe up here. Um, and then one down here and you end up overriding stuff. Again, all will need access to freight. All will need access to other stuff. So we'll kind of do things that way. Oh, and you're going to be... Yeah, we'll just upgrade you. Whatever. So that's that's kind of the rundown here. I, I have five food tokens right now. It's going to be 15 grand. These food tokens will be useful when I create a city that doesn't have any food in it, and I can just trade back and forth. Right now, we have a huge surplus of cash. That will not stay that way once I start trading tokens around. Uh, yeah, so that will be interesting when that happens. But otherwise, uh, this is going to be the end of part one. I'll see you guys again for part two of uh, Cities XL, where we're going to build Farmville here. We're actually going to expand Farmville probably up to the maximum export abilities before we move on to the next city, which will have uh, all the gas and electricity in. Oh, I'll also need to be doing the water here, which is something I forgot to mention. I'll be doing water uh, services on this one, so I'll be collecting a lot of water. So, alrighty, that's the end of Farmville for the moment, and I'll catch you guys later for uh, part two here, where we uh, expand Farmville to the max and become Farm City. Catch you guys later. Bye.